two types of X-ray technology are used for food inspection today, single energy and dual energy. Some food processors believe that, irrespective of the application, dual energy is always the best. However, this isn't always the case. This webinar explores both X-ray technologies and their suitability for different types of detection challenges. It dispels the myth that regardless of the application, dual energy automatically provides better sensitivity and explains that the right choice of technology depends on five key factors. The webinar will cover the following topics. Introduction to X-ray inspection, how it works and its key components, dual energy, what it is and how it works, single energy versus dual energy, differences and suitabilities. X-rays are one of several naturally occurring sources of radiation and are an invisible form of electromagnetic radiation like radio waves. All types of electromagnetic radiation are part of a single continuum known as the electromagnetic spectrum. The short wavelength of X-rays enables them to pass through materials that are opaque to visible light. However, they don't pass through all materials with the same ease. The transparency of a material to X-rays is broadly related to its density. The denser the material, the fewer X-rays pass through it. Dense foreign bodies such as glass, bone, and metal show up because they absorb more X-rays than the surrounding product. There are three key components of an X-ray inspection system. An X-ray generator, A, a detector, B, and a computer, C. In simple terms, an X-ray system uses an X-ray generator to project a beam of low-energy X-rays onto a detector. X-ray inspection involves passing a product through the beam before it reaches the detector. The amount of X-ray energy absorbed during the beam's passage through a product is affected by the product's thickness, density, and atomic number. When the product passes through the X-ray beam, only the residual energy reaches the detector and the measurement of the difference in absorption between the product and a contaminant is the basis of contamination detection by X-ray inspection. Like single energy technology, dual energy involves using a generator to project an X-ray beam onto a detector and passing a product through the beam. However, dual energy diverges from single energy X-ray inspection because it uses two energy spectrums to discriminate between high and low channel X-rays as well as a dual layer detector. The top detector is sensitive to lower energy and the bottom detector is sensitive to higher energy. The two detectors are separated by a small copper plate, which filters out the low-energy X-ray and only allows the high-energy X-ray to pass through to the high-energy detector. When an X-ray beam is projected through a product, some of the energies are absorbed, while others pass through it. What gets absorbed and what passes through depends on the product's composition. Materials are made up of elements, and each element has its own atomic number. For a given X-ray energy, as the atomic number increases, the element absorbs more X-ray energy and less passes through it. The amount of X-ray absorbance a given element has depends on the X-ray energy. As dual energy X-ray systems have a detector array that gives values at two different energies, high and low, these can be expressed as a ratio. Two separate images are generated by the two spectra of energy, and a relative ratio of energy absorbed can be calculated to determine a material's composition. Contamination detection using dual energy technology is based on the chemical composition, or atomic number, rather than just density variation, like single energy technology. When deciding whether to opt for single-energy or dual-energy X-ray inspection technology, manufacturers should consider five factors. 1. Likely contaminants. 2. Product. 3. Packaging. 4. Production speed. And 5. Customer specification. 
single energy technology is very effective at detecting contaminants that exhibit an X-ray absorption spike relative to the surrounding product's absorption. Such systems give exceptional levels of detection for stainless steel, ferrous, and non-ferrous metals. They are also good at detecting glass, calcified bone, mineral stone, and high-density plastics and rubber in homogeneous products such as butter or yogurt. For example, it is easy to see the metal contaminant in the single energy image of butter. In contrast, dual energy technology is better at detecting objects that show a very small X-ray absorption variation, such as dense contaminants in dense products, for example, stone in mixed nuts. Dual energy is also adept at detecting inorganic foreign bodies such as flat glass, bone, stones, rocks, low-density rubber, and some plastics in heterogeneous products. It does so by removing the busy product image, leaving only the inorganic contaminants. For example, it is much easier to see the wedge-shaped golf ball contaminant along with other contaminants in the dual energy image than in the single energy image. Single energy technology provides safety and quality assurance at every stage of the production process for a wide range of raw, bulk, pumped, and packaged applications. However, finding contaminants in products with high variations in X-ray absorption can prove challenging for single energy detectors as the varying absorption rates create busy X-ray images. Single energy technology is better suited to inspecting products with a more homogeneous texture, like the sliced cheese packet shown here. In contrast, dual energy technology lends itself to inspecting busy X-ray images caused by products with high variations in density due to its ability to discriminate materials by their chemical composition. Dual energy technology can detect flat glass and stone in multi-textured foods such as trail mix, cereal, mixed nuts, granola bars, mixed salad leaves, and the pack of chocolates shown here. Single energy technology is ideal for inspecting unpackaged products as well as products in a wide variety of packaging types such as tall rigid containers, cartons or boxes, pouches, bags or sacks, trays, and tubes. Single energy technology is ideal for inspecting a glass jar of jelly or baby food where the likely contaminant is glass. Dual energy technology is capable of detecting inorganic contaminants in a variety of packaged products and also lends itself to detecting contaminants in innovative packaging designs such as fold-out cardboard sandwich packaging and corrugated card encasements that can plague traditional inspection tools. Dual energy is ideal for inspecting multi-pack cases of chips. This is because the technology essentially removes the edges of individual packages, making it easier to see any large, typically metal contaminants that could potentially be hiding inside a box. Production speed also affects the choice of X-ray technology. High-speed applications such as metal cans and flow-wrapped products like energy bars tend to be more suited to single energy inspection. Single energy inspection is ideal for most packaging lines with products traveling at speeds between 150 and 400 feet per minute. In contrast, dual energy technology lends itself to inspecting incoming raw materials or ingredients such as nuts, which typically tend to be slower applications, traveling at speeds between 80 and 200 feet per minute. Customers' requirements can also determine the right choice of X-ray energy. For example, retail stores may specify that their suppliers have inspection technology that's capable of detecting small contaminants. This is because products will have been processed, which increases the risk of small contaminants, particularly glass and metal, from processing machinery. This level of detection can usually be achieved using single energy X-ray technology. Alternatively, a processor may stipulate that a grower or farmer have the capacity to detect tramp metal or rock or stone with inspection technology, which can be achieved using dual energy technology because it can discriminate between the organic food and the inorganic contaminants. 
Field contaminants are the likely contaminants this far up the processing stream as crops won't yet have been processed. In both instances, stipulations for varying detection capabilities are demanded, which can be achieved using either single energy or dual energy technology. The X-ray technology used depends on the customer specification that is needed to be met. To conclude, there are certain advantages and disadvantages with either dual energy or single energy, depending on the application type. Single energy provides unsurpassed detection of stainless steel, ferrous and non-ferrous metals, glass, mineral stone, calcified bone, high-density plastics and rubber, as well as excellent detection of small metal contaminants in homogeneous products which are consistent in presentation. However, it is not quite as good at inorganic contaminants such as glass shards smaller than 2 mm in diameter, rocks and low-density plastics or rubber. Inaccurate readings also frequently occur with single-energy X-ray systems when inspecting complex, variable-density foodstuffs or those in innovative packaging styles or overwrap cartons. Dual energy also provides unsurpassed detection of the same contaminants as single energy, but it is also capable of detecting inorganic foreign bodies such as flat glass, bones, stones, rocks, and low-density rubber and plastics. It is ideal for inspecting raw materials that originate from the earth, such as vegetables and salad ingredients due to its ability. It is particularly suited to inspecting thicker, high-density products which are more variable in presentation, such as mixed fruits, nuts, cereals and candies, as well as products in innovative packaging styles. Furthermore, it is fast becoming the meat industry's global standard for chemical lean measurement or fat analysis and is known in the industry as Dual Energy X-ray Absorptiometry, DEXA. However, it is not suitable for inspecting pumped products or detecting small metal contaminants. As this webinar shows, dual energy X-ray systems are not the best option for all food applications and it is important to understand which technology will meet your inspection needs. There are some instances where dual energy will be best and equally, many others where single energy will provide a better solution. The right choice of X-ray energy depends on five factors, the likely contaminants, product, packaging, production speed, and customer specifications. Each application should be independently evaluated, and food manufacturers should seek the advice of a reputable X-ray system supplier before making a decision. Thank you. If you'd like to stay up to date with the latest product inspection trends, just follow us on social media. Connect with us on LinkedIn, follow us on Twitter at Eagle X-Ray, follow us on Google+, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.